you know that sakana are not fish? Well, I mean, of course they are because Japanese people call fish sakana right now. So, you know, whatever people use the word to mean is what it means. But historically, if you were to go back in time and point at a fish and tell a Japanese person that it's sakana, they would be confused. So let's go into why. The word sakana is one of those words that looks like it's been around in Japanese forever, right? It has one kanji. It reads like a Japanese word, it's definitely not from Chinese, but it's actually one that was invented around the Edo period. And to break down the etymology of sakana, you actually have to break it into two parts, the saka and the na. The saka there actually initially referred to sake, and you see this reading of this character uh, still in some Japanese words, such as sakaba or sakaya. It's thought that in the initial construction then that a sakana was actually a saka no na, with the na there referring to side dishes. Yes, you probably know that kanji more from words like yasai, but it does still have that na reading in some Japanese words like wakana or nazuke. Indeed, you can still write the word okazu or a side dish using this kanji, although people don't usually do that. And there's an entire izakaya chain that's still called sakana using the kanji you see there. It's also sometimes written using this kanji. And so basically you had a saka no na, or an accompaniment to sake. So though eventually got dropped from that, we just had sakana. It was anything that went really well with alcohol. And one thing that happened to go really well with alcohol was fish. So gradually, this use of fish along with sake as kind of a similar pairing became popular, especially during the Edo period, and gradually, 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 the word sakana just became used to mean fish, and they took the kanji you saw earlier and just slapped the fish kanji on it and called it a day. So this leaves only one question still, which were, what did Japanese people call fish before they were sakana? And the answer might make you go, whoa, because it's uo. Yes, uo was the original reading for fish. And it even still appears in some kind of archaic phrases. For instance, this here is an expression that can certainly be read as mizu eta sakana no yo, but it officially, as in, you know, originally, was read as mizu eta uo no yo. So again, if Japanese people read that phrase as sakana, that, that's what it is. But if you want to be pretentious, you can't say, aha, no, it's actually supposed to be uo. And indeed, if you go back to some of the oldest Japanese literature that we have, such as the Nihon Shoki or the Ban Yoshu, you can see fish written as uo using kanji pairings like this or this. And indeed, when I talked about axolotl in a video a while back, I mentioned that their official name in Japanese was the Mikishiko Sansho Uo. That Uo there, right, is, is the fish Uo. It's not usually written in kanji, but if you were going to, it would be with the fish kanji. Yeah, they're not fish, but, you know, ocean creature kanji. So there you have it. Yes, sakana can still be a saka no na, but nowadays Japanese people are able to have some sakana without getting drunk, which, of course, is a benefit to society as a whole. See you next time.